It's been a warm day out there, seeing uh, plenty of sunshine, but we're also seeing some partly cloudy skies out there as well. Taking a look at, of course, uh, that visible satellite right now, you can see a lot of that cloud cover here off towards the south and the upper levels, just getting those fair weather cumulus here in southern Illinois, but a lot of sunshine mixed in here throughout the area, and that has led to, of course, uh, dry conditions and warm conditions throughout the day today. Very seasonable day out there today. Carbondale live look at you right now. Mostly blue skies again that sun shining down and the temperature around 86 right now. Our dew points at 64 so thankfully today no triple digit heat indices. It feels like 86 out there as you step out the door. So uh, comfortable nonetheless here across the area temperatures uh, throughout uh, our area here 87 in Eddyville as well as Paducah over in southeastern Missouri Sykes and you're at 85 as well as Poplar Bluff sitting at 85 and if you're in southern Illinois 84 in Mount Vernon 84 for Harrisburg so all of us kind of in those mid 80s right now We'll stay quiet tonight, but we are going to be on the warmer side and temperatures in the lower 70s uh, for Tuesday, though. A few thunderstorms will be around. Definitely more coverage uh, than we've seen over the past couple of days. We've really been very, very isolated the past couple of days. Expect a little bit more of that coverage tomorrow. Still not a widespread event, but uh, certainly some thunderstorms you might have to dodge out there. And then on Wednesday, uh, more isolated storm activity. I think the coverage will be a little bit less there, but again, it's really that summertime pattern where through the afternoon and evening you could see those uh, thunderstorms bubble up and then quickly die out. Future clouds and radar showing you uh, those clear conditions really continue throughout the night tonight. As we head towards tomorrow morning, we'll have an impulse towards our south, uh, giving plenty of cloud cover here across the region. We'll see a few breaks uh, in that cloud cover as we head towards the afternoon. And that's when you'll see, of course, a lot more of that thunderstorm activity getting going across our area. You can see a lot of different specks of orange and yellow splattered through uh, our area here. And again, it's not a widespread event, but certainly something where if you have any outdoor plans, you want to take the radar with you, uh, keep it close uh, so you can be dodging uh, some of these showers and storms as they progress through the afternoon and evening. And then, of course, uh, things will, of course, die down as soon as that sun goes down. That Tuesday forecast again, hour by hour. Temperatures getting into the low to mid 80s through the afternoon. Those clouds really pick up as those storm chances pick up as we head towards 6 p.m. That rainfall uh, amounts generally a very light, a half an inch to two inches here over the next week or so. The storm track three app certainly something you'll want to download as uh, things do start cropping up on the radar over the next couple of days. That 10 day forecast showing you, of course, things getting crazy, uh, not too crazy, but uh, definitely getting uh, more active for Tuesday. Those scattered thunderstorms continuing more of an isolated to scattered threat here throughout the week, even towards next weekend. Um, so a, really a summertime pattern where those afternoon and evenings could be filled with a few thunderstorms, but generally a lot of the days staying mostly dry. We got temperatures in the 80s throughout this week. Next week, though, we do return back into the 90s.